Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am the Bliss Police and I'm coming to you from sunny Florida. It is so nice here and of course they want to start their lawnmower right freaking now. I'm so irritated. You guys kidding me? Of course not. Sorry guys. There's a lawnmower. Hopefully you can hear me. If not, I'll have to do some voiceover work. But um, I wanted to show you guys a video or bring you guys a video of um, what basically I got at Disney World and at Universal and we didn't we didn't really buy a lot at least not in my opinion but hey so hopefully this will be a pretty quick video we're trying to get out of here by about 10 50 and it is 9 57 right now so I only have a little or no 10 30 10.20 actually would be the ideal 10.20. So we're trying to get out of here pretty quickly. Today is our checkout day so we are leaving immediately after this video and my outfit video. I actually haven't done that for the day. But the outfit video will be posted first to end of this video. Alright guys so I'm just going to start. Uh, I think I'll start with the things that I got from Disney and then I'll show you guys the things I got from Universal. I didn't get, actually no, I'll do the opposite because I didn't get a lot from Universal. Okay, so all this stuff is over here on the table, yay. Um, so the first thing I'll show you guys is the candy we bought. Uh, we bought some um, Ever, uh, oh there we go, Saving Whizbees. I am actually not allowed to have these, but like Kevin really wanted them, so we did We did end up getting these at snack. He very much likes them. They're like Pop Rock candy, like chocolate, I guess. I don't know. I can't describe it because I don't know what it is. Um, the next thing we bought that I wanted was um, some Honey Dukes. It was Sweet Crystals. And we still have two left. I ate one while in the park because I just needed that sugar rush. I just needed that sugar rush, so bought that. The next thing, it is all gone, but I still have the wrapper. We got it from Honey Dukes, and this was candy floss. So uh, I had three, three different pieces, two different flavors. One was like a sour apple, which was very interesting. I liked it. And then the other one was just a simple pink, like sugary flavor. It was just sugar. It was some sugar, basically. And so that can go in the trash now. Yay. All right. Now that I'm done with, oh, wait. I have one more thing, which is actually a really big very important thing that I got. <laughs> it's <gasps> I'm sorry, an Alamander's wand. I get really squeaky when I get excited. So this wand. I don't know. Like it's pretty long actually. <laughs> and it's from Alamander's and I chose my own. I was able not choose it. But uh the wand chooses the wizard as my shirt said. And everyone loved that shirt. Anyway, um maker of fine wands since eight 382 BC. Love it. Oh, love the box. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I'm super excited. I actually was able to, I got the activating one, so I was able to do all the spells and things. So they give you a map of where all the spells are. And so you get a map of Diagon Alley. And then on the back is the map of Hogwarts. And any time you come into the park you can use your wand and you bring your wand um, which I'll probably do this every time I go I got the vine wand I think it's very beautiful very well balanced um, just a very nice simple wand nothing crazy but it's very me um, the handle is like the thing that I think is the most pretty and it's actually almost the size of my palm it's a great length for me in general it's actually the size of here which is what they say it should be um things like that so a very nice one it's the size of my forearm I don't know if you can really see that I don't know what that was <laughs> I don't think you can really see it but it's the size of my forearm it's very pretty and it comes in a very nice case it feels all velvety it's not velvet obviously but it feels velvety which is nice the map comes inside on the side which is where I'm going to put it for transport and then this is just a nice little something that goes right about here for the handle and it goes back in the box and that is everything 
that I received, bought, I bought this for myself for my birthday because I wanted it that badly. Um, and Kevin bought me a lot of things for my birthday so I'm not even like, he bought me $60 worth of stuff, this was about $60 so we both spent about the same amount of money on me. Plus he paid for most of this trip so not even mad. So excited. Um, I'll show you guys the little things that we got from Disney now. So. Uh, it was one of my first trips. It was my first trip to Epcot. I had never been to Epcot. So I decided to grab a first visit for Epcot specifically. I didn't wear it at Magic Kingdom. I did wear it at Animal Kingdom, but it's only because we went the same day. I didn't wear it at Hollywood Studios. I didn't wear it at Epcot the next time we went because we went to Epcot twice. We went to Hollywood Studio once, Magic Kingdom twice in one day, and we went to Animal Kingdom once. We were, I really kind of wanted to do four parks one day, but a little too much for us, <laughs> especially since we had our dinner at Be Our Guest in the same day, so that's why we had to go back to Magic Kingdom. I also got my happy birthday um, button, which I wore all day that day, and it was great. It's in most of my princess pictures, which I'm super cool with because princess pictures, which I will be doing a whole little thing on that um, later. And then I also grabbed a I'm celebrating button. I'm celebrating my 30th birthday and so I grabbed that. Also, I received uh, I received from Belle this really cute bookmark and I love bookmarks. So this is Enchanted Tales with Belle. I got to be in the show and it's specifically because it was my birthday and there's a whole fiasco with the show and dinner and I will explain that in a different video because I was I was very, very upset and it was my birthday. So they, they made it up to me by giving me a fast pass and a few other things. So um, you'll always be part of my favorite story. <gasps> I love Belle. Anyway, <laughs> she's my favorite princess. Her, Ariel, Tiana, um, those are definitely my top three favorites out of all the princesses. I also love Moana. She's great. I love Moana. Um, I do love Elsa. I like Anna, but I love Elsa. But she also is a queen, which is why she's not a top princess. She's the queen. So she's the only queen other than Regina. Because once upon a time, Regina. <laughs> and I also, I do actually love um, Celine as well. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, moving on, I'm actually going to show you the other paper item I got. And that was this. They gave me a happy birthday card from Mickey and Minnie. Mickey and Minnie signed it, and I think it's awesome. And so did Belle. Oh my gosh. Oh, not Mickey and Minnie. I'm sorry. Belle signed it. Bonjour, Belle and Beast. And Beast, Belle signed for Beast because Beast can't write very well, apparently. And there's a little rose on it, and it's just, oh, I have a magical day. Like, has my name on it, and they actually spelled it right, and I'm so excited. I love this. This is going in my memory box. All this stuff is going in my memory box that's not a pin. Because if you watched the other video, you already know. Or if I haven't posted it yet, I don't know. Anyway, if you haven't watched it, watch it. If you have watched it, thanks. Um, if I haven't posted it, watch it. There we go. Um, but that's going in my memory box. I'm super excited. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is not this. Actually, yes, this. How about that? I'll just show the other thing next. Um, so this is my new pin lanyard. I got it from my traders. It'll probably wear down pretty quickly because I have a lot of traders. I've been pushing them in and out of this like for the last two or three days and already there are little holes in it. So I won't be surprised if this doesn't last me more than a year. Excuse me. Um, but I was told like, I should get the Zoom Zoom clip to go with my Zoom Zoom lanyard. And I'm thinking about it just because that would be adorable. I did see them. The next thing I'm going to show you is not anything to do with pins, um, and it's this. So, Kevin received this in one of his uh, drinks. I thought it was adorable, and he's like, well, do you want it? And I was like, yeah. And so, I love it. It turns different colors. It's just nice, cute, but I think it's cute and fun. And so, um, eventually, there you go. Get to that one where it turns all the colors, which is fun. And that's it. So it's just a little ice cube. It's just kind of fun and cute, and I liked it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the next thing out. I had to reach really far for that one, and that is this. I received this as a present from Be Our Guest. I ended up 
another part of the fiasco, losing an earring, and since they couldn't find it, and it wasn't even their fault, they gave me this, which is awesome. I love this, and it lights up, and I probably would never have actually gotten it for myself, just because um, I was trying to be frugal this trip, and I kind of succeeded, kind of didn't, um, but I love this. <laughs> And I love all the little different symbols. Oh my gosh, it has the, oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't realize this, but it has um, Seven Doors Mind Ride, Alice, um, the Mad Hatter Tea, Cup, tea Party, there we go, Ariel's um, Adventure, uh, Belle's Enchanted Stories of Belle, it has Aurora, which would be um, Meeting with Aurora, Cindy, Meeting with Cindy, Snow, which would uh, be Meeting with Snow, I guess. Tiana, I'm meeting with Tiana, and then this one is the only one I'm like, I don't exactly know, but I'm thinking it's Peter Pan's um, uh, Flying Adventure, the flying one, I forget what it's called right now, but it does also light up, so I think that's cool, and I love how big it is, it doesn't fit in my suitcase, I'm going to have to put it in my um, my purse, that's how big this thing is, <laughs> and it fits perfectly in my purse, thank goodness. Finally, I'm going to get to my pins, now I did do a separate pin video, but I am going to show you guys all the pins I got, because... I got them here. So all my traders and everything else. Next thing I'm going to start with though is the present that I got. And I already explained this, so I'm not going to explain it again. But basically I got it for my birthday from one of the cast members and it was super sweet of them. And she's from Michigan. Hi. I really like you. You're really sweet. Thank you. Alright. Next, 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 I'm going to show you guys all the pins I traded for. So I traded for this pen here, which I think might be a fake, especially since I think the paint like scrubbed off of it. Yay. Next one is this one. It's Mulan. It's also, I think, a fake. I'll have to check though just to make sure. Um, I'll show you guys all the fakes basically first if I can. Um, I have this one here. And like I said, I already explained these in a video, so I don't want to go too in-depth in them. And I don't have a lot of time because it's 10-10. Um, so it's Judy. I'm um, saving some of the, like, best for last. I think this is the best. This one, which is real, um, this one is actually real. But, um, I just don't like it. I love Tiana. Tiana's one of my favorite princesses. I'm probably going to end up getting rid of this one, though, because it's one of the ones that just did not call to me. And I am trying to collect things only that call to me. Things that I really love, that I'm going to cherish. Um, this I traded with another, um, person who was on vacation, so I did a personal person trade, which was really cool. I really like this one. I think it's pretty. Um, and I also think it's real, so it's nice. I don't think the pin back is real, but I think the actual pin is real, which is nice. Uh, the next one is one that is also real, I think. I'm not sure. Again, I have to check in on them. But uh, we my boyfriend traded this one, and it's one of the, uh, the first things that he traded for. I was very excited because he's not super into pins. But um, he did trade that one, which made me happy. And then he also traded for this one, which I think is a fake. Although I might be mixing them up. I'm really not sure. Um, I really can't tell. But anyway, that's the next one. There. I also traded for this Tiana, which I think she's really cute. I would have not probably have grabbed this if it weren't in her thing. And I really just, she was so sweet that I really wanted to trade with her. And so I just, I found some things that I liked um, enough to trade her with. Because, again, she was super nice. She was a super sweet girl. And so I just wanted to, I really, really wanted to trade with her because... I wanted her to be, I wanted to be happy and I wanted her to be happy too, I wanted her, her to have a good day. And it was my birthday and I wanted to make someone else happy that day. Um, finally we got this one. Um, oh, this is not, oh yeah, that's right, we traded the other one. Alright, I was trying to show all the Star Wars ones first, but hey, life. Um, this one is one I traded with the cast member for. It is a, the Elsa castle. I think it's really cute. I thought it was Cinderella castle when I traded for it, though. Alright, next one. Are you ready, for real? Okay. Like I'm basically ready. Okay. I was just wondering. I that. Oh no, that's fine. Um, right, this is the next one. This is one that Kev trade for. Kevin, um, and it's uh, an Imperial pin, uh, from Star Wars. He loves Star Wars. So it makes sense. He traded all of, all the pins he traded for were Star Wars pins, <laughs> except for a few mystery pins that we got. Because we couldn't see them, so we decided just to trade it for them. Squirrel. 
I yeah, like the squirrel. We also traded. What other one did we trade for that you liked? Yeah. No, we got the the stormtrooper the egg. Pot. Oh, the Mickey pot. That's right. Okay. So a couple that we already traded for um, other things, which is okay, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some of my least favorites now, and then I'll lead up to my favorite favorites, and um, then I'll lead up to the last couple. I also actually bought a pack of um, Mickey backs, which because I lost a couple backs on the way to the parks, it was great. So I got a pack of like eight pit for like ten dollars, which was. And I could have got better ones or a better price online, but they're the real thing. They're less bendy than the fake ones, which I like. So, like, some of the fake ones are sometimes a little too bendy. This one's really bendy, but there are certain, um, let's see. Yeah, like this one. They're pretty bendy, but the other ones that I found on real backs, like the ones you buy in the store, aren't as bendy, which is nice. Yeah, like this one. This one here has a super rigid back to it. Uh, that's yeah, thank you. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so I got a blind trade, blind trades only, and so I ended up getting this piglet. And I I think piglet is cute. Piglet's adorable, but I don't like this pig. <laughs> I think this one is awful. <laughs> so yeah. Next up, I got a blind trade, which I don't dislike this one, but I don't like it either. And it's this Mr. It hit Mickey. Um, Epcot pin. And it's not a bad pin. I don't dislike it. And it is a real pin, which is nice because these have been faked from what I understand. Um, but it's not my favorite pin. Finally, although this is a really nice pin, it's a really, um, I think it's a rare pin. It's five of five, so it's like the last one um, that they had out. Um, and it's the Duffy, I think this is the Aladdin um, pin. And I don't think it's a might be the chaser, but I don't think it is. It doesn't say chase on it. Um, so, it's a really cute pen. It's not like it's a terrible pen, but I don't really like it. So, I'm probably going to end up giving that one away or trading it or trying to sell it. Alright, guys. Next comes my favorite pens that I traded for. So, the first one that I traded for, which was with a, with a really wonderful woman from Michigan. Babe, what was her name? I really liked her. Do you remember? The girl from Michigan? Yeah. From, like, Macomb area? I thought it was something with an E. Oh, dang it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. No. Shoot, I'm so sorry. She's from Lennox. Yeah, Lennox. Okay, so she's from Lennox, Michigan. I'm so sorry. Cannot remember her name. She was super sweet. She's here for internship. I remember all these things about her, except for her name, and I feel really bad about it. If I remember, I will insert it, like, somewhere here, around my face or my chest, because she was one of the nicest people we met there. Uh, well, actually, we met a, a lot of really nice people. Anyway, wait. For a bit. Like this is one thing. Um, so I, I traded her this, and it's super cute, and I love it. It's Tinkerbell. It's adorable. Okay, and I love it. Next thing I traded for was this Mulan. That was yesterday while we were at Disney Springs, and I love it. It's so cute. It's Hidden Mickey. It's one of the newer sets, so it can't have been faked yet. They literally just released them, I think, last week or the week before last or something. I don't know, but it's very recent release, so harder to find a fake in that one. Last one is this one I traded with a, I think a, you know, with a PCAF member yesterday at Epcot. They had just gotten this one and I traded for it. Literally, they got it. I traded it. <laughs> it was great. Finally, I have, um, uh, before I go into my other ones that we bought, I bought this one for myself as, a birth as another birthday present because I really wanted it. It's super pretty. It's a, the Pin Trading Pop-Up Books. It's a limited edition, 4,000, um, and it's this Tiana, and I went into it more in depth in my other video. It's this Tiana Princess Frog. It opens up. It's a pin on pin, and it's so gorgeous. I love it. Finally, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to put it back in the wrapping because I don't want it to get messed up. Okay. Anyway, the final things I have to show you are the presents that Kevin got me. He bought me two bags of my favorite <laughs> uh, mystery pins, because I still haven't found them all. Yay. And that would be um, this um, nesting doll set, and so it's the Russian doll set. And he bought me two bags of those. 
bags of those, so I'm going to quickly go through them. And I'll show you all the old ones first that I don't need. And then I'll show you the new ones. Cause then, and I'll get better close-ups later, but this is just supposed to be as organic as possible. Yeah. So, and I'm fairly certain I have this one. I'm fairly certain I do. Anyway. Um, so I'll show you guys really quickly in succession. I got Cinderella again. Or, sorry, this is Tinkerbell. That was Cinderella. Cinderella. Ariel. Merryweather. Bono. There we go. And Tiana. Yeah. So I got all those. Those were all doubles. And then my four that I got that were not doubles, which I'm super excited about, are... Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins, y'all. Anyway. <laughs> Snow White. Aurora. And Merida. So I, anyway, I have all together three completed rows, and I'm only missing one pin now, and that is the, I'm trying to think. Rapunzel pin. It's the only one I'm missing in this particular set. Alright y'all, it is still July 10th. I am back in uh, Detroit in my apartment. Yay! But I did forget to show you guys something while I was in Florida this morning and that is this. This is the last thing that I got from Disney World. I almost cried. This lady gave it to me on my birthday in Epcot while we were in Japan. And it's just an origami flower but I think it's beautiful. So I was very happy that she gave it to me. She said happy birthday. I also, oh, I have got to tell you guys a couple stories. So I will tell you guys more about it. I'll do like a little recap because I don't have, I have a couple videos and a couple pictures that I can put together into a video so I'll show you guys what I did in Orlando all five days and I will give you guys recaps of everything that happened basically. Alright, so that's it though, I got this really pretty origami flower as well. Okay, and here we are with our close-ups and so the first one I have for you is the Mickey Mouse Happy Birthday pin and it is the one that was given to me by a cast member at Magic Kingdom on my birthday and it was such a surprise. The pin itself is so pretty. I had thought about buying it and then I was like, no, I'll, I'll not buy this. I already have one that has Minnie on it and that's good enough. And then she gave it to me and I was just like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I was so happy, so floored, and so surprised. <laughs> Next up, I have this pin that I am fairly certain is a fake. It is Hortensia, who is Oswald's girlfriend, and she is in gray and black, like her original character. She is really cute, and if I had gotten the real pin, I would have definitely kept this, because it was an adorable pin. I'm really sad that it was fake. Here's the first of the Mulan Hidden Mickey pins, and it looks like it could have been a chaser or a version of a chaser because I do believe this one is a fake, which is really, really sad because this was a really, really nice pin. Okay, so the Tiana Shoe pin is the next one I have to show you guys, and this one is definitely a fake. It isn't printed very well on the back, and the trademark sign you can barely see. However, it is actually a really nice pin, so I did end up keeping it in my collection until I can get the real one. Here I have Judy Hopps, and she is just one of the best characters. I actually love Judy Hopps. So when I got this one, I was super excited. It is a real one, too, which is nice. And the details on this pin is just... The details are astounding to me. They have like all the different colors, they have her knee pads, the kind of shoes she wears, because she wears the half shoe, she doesn't actually wear shoe shoes. They even have extreme detail on her belt. So it was just an overall really, really nice pin. Okay, so here is the Tiana pin that was real, but I just didn't really like it. I don't like how non-detailed her face is. The rest of the pen, however, I do like. And I just noticed there's a little Naveen on her left side. That's so cute. I never noticed that before until now. <laughs> and that just made her a little more cute. I did end up keeping this pen for now. I haven't decided whether or not I want her in my collection fully or not. Here is the, I think, third Tiana pen I have for you guys. And 
This one is the Tiana Crest pen. This pen is a real pen, however it is, in my opinion, not as detailed as I would like it to be. Though I do like it, so I did end up keeping it. I like how she looks in the pen. I think she looks really pretty. Other than the fact that, like, the silver kind of dulls her, or like the gold that they use kind of dulls her features a little bit and makes it harder to kind of see. But otherwise, the pen itself is really pretty. So next up I have this Star Wars pen, and it's a Rebels pen. That's really all I know about it, honestly. I like Star Wars, but I am not good with what symbol means what. So, yeah. Here is another Star Wars pen. This one is blue. Very similar design, but not exact. This one looks a little bit, in my opinion, nicer, though I do know the one in the uh, previous clip was fake, and I think this one might have actually been a real one. So this one is a little bit crisper, it's nicer, and it doesn't have any dips in it. Here I have my second to last Tiana pen. This one is the Tiana August pen, another real trader, and it's a really nice pen. It has Naveen at the top, and she's bronze cast in the middle with really pretty um, glitter resin on either side of her, which is nice. And then they have these really pretty green jewels. And this is one I traded for person to person in the parks, and it was really nice. Okay, so this next pin is of Arendelle Castle, and it's a really nice pin. I had planned on keeping this in my collection, but I decided to give it to a young girl who had had her pin stolen, which really, really sucks. So I wanted to spread a little pin love and give her this really, really nice pin. Here is a Star Wars Imperial pin, and it has, I think, eight of the markers on the inside, which is very specific to that particular set of the Empire. So that's about as much as I know about this pin. Okay, so this is the Piglet Safety Pin pin, and you may have noticed I was not very excited about this one in the video, and I am still not excited, so I did end up giving this away as well. Okay, so I figured out what kind of Epcot pin this is, and so this is the World of Motion Hidden Mickey pin. It's a really nice pin. It is real. I did end up giving this one away because it just doesn't go with any of my other collections, and it's not something I wanted to collect. Here is the Duffy's Hats Aladdin Hidden Mickey hat. And this is actually a chaser, so I wasn't able to figure out how much to sell it for, and I think I did end up giving it away to that young lady who had her pin stolen. Okay, so this next pin is one of my favorites that I traded for in the park, and actually it was Disney Springs. And I love how she looks so little and small and delicate. I love all the details on this little Tinker Bell, and that she's like looking over her shoulder. It's just such a really, really cute pin. I just, I'm so happy with it. <laughs> okay, so here is my other hidden Mickey Mulan pin, and it's a nice detailed pin. It has the same problem that the Crest Tiana pin has, where the silver kind of obscures the details, but otherwise it's really really nice all of the details are super defined so I can really see her lips her comb her hair and the hidden Mickey it's just it's it's a nice pin all of the pins though I keep saying are really nice pins <laughs> okay so you guys know that the Little Mermaid holds a special place in my heart because Ariel and I came out the same year <laughs> And so Ariel just always makes me so happy. And when I got this pin, I traded for it. I didn't know what it was at first. And I was super thrilled when I figured, like when I turned it over, because it was a blind trade, I turned it over and it was Ariel and Flounders in there. It's the a part of your world scene, like a little bit anyway, where she's going up the tunnel, like in her little cave. So it's really cute, and I love all the details on it. You can really see them. The silver actually works with the colors in this one and not against them, so that instead of it being obscured, it's super defined. 
and it's really really nice so I am happy I grabbed this one okay so the final pin is this pin trading pop-up books limited edition LE 4000 princess and the frog pin it is my favorite pin that I got from this trip <laughs> it has a beautiful princess and the frog on the front with the riverboat in the background and Tiana in her green dress with Naveen on her shoulder and on the inside it says once upon a time Tiana was wishing upon an evening star for a restaurant of her very own when a frog named Naveen popped up onto the balcony next to her and in the inside is a pin on pin uh, the details are gorgeous again the silver kind of works against it but it's still easier to see than some of the other ones with the silver and Naveen is actually the pin on top of the pin for this one this is also one of my favorite scenes in the movie so when I saw the inside I knew I had to have this pin she's looking up at Evangeline saying please 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 and that that's just one of my favorite scenes ever in that movie All right, and that's everything we bought other than like food items, um, other than the candy that we bought, because we're not, like we didn't finish those. That's the only reason I showed you, otherwise I wouldn't have even showed you the candy. Um, thank you guys for watching. I have to go pack all this stuff away now, and we have to leave in about two minutes. So I'm going to do my other video, and then I'll be back. Bye. Don't forget to find your beauty and build your bliss. Thank you for watching me, Blissful Elise, where I'm finding beauty and building bliss. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Also, please give me a follow at Blissful Elise on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks again, and I can't wait to see you guys later.